hackers. Today, cyber terrorists, they can use botnets to steal everything you own. Access granted. Internet of things. <laughs> More like internet of things you no longer own. Are you afraid of botnets? Botnets! With botnets, this could happen to you. Good morning, Greg. Your devices have now been compromised. <laughs> now activating disco lights. Now playing Nickelback. Look at this Has this ever happened to you? No! Now ordering Lado's pizza via Uber Eats, one large Hawaiian. <laughs> Do you want your Internet of Things compromised for not only yourself, but your company too? Hi, I'm Jeff. The Internet of Things is a wonderful thing that can be used in our lives. It's the interconnectedness of things such as your phone, tablets, laptops, even larger scale appliances such as your home appliances, and maybe even your car. However, the interconnectedness of devices can come at a cost. Imagine if a hacker took control of your home network. Every single device in your home network is now compromised. Your personal information and valuables could be stolen from you. Hey, um, how much do I have in my bank account? You have zero dollars in your checking account. What? I haven't even checked into my account since last month. Really? You checked in with us the other day. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes. No. Why would I even lie to you? Prove it. You answered all our security questions correctly. No, I must have been hacked or something. We asked you, what is your mother's name? And what did I say? Chad. How do they know? Your devices could be tampered with in malicious ways. Make a U-turn. Recalculating destination to Alberta, Canada. What the fuck? Meet Ronald, a victim of an attack to his Internet of Things. Last week, I had three kids, a monkey, and $12 in my account. Ronald was attacked by botnets on his Internet of Things, giving hackers access to not only his devices and home network, but ultimately his personal information and valuables. I came home from work, you know. I'm home. I did that every day. Was something was different this time? I realized my children were, were missing. My monkeys missing. <laughs> I checked in my account, my bank account, and all $12 were gone. My, my three children were gone. And my five monkeys were gone. You have five monkeys? Hackers not only can hack into your personal devices, but company devices too. This means for smaller companies, IoT attacks can take up to 13% of annual revenue. For larger companies, this means tens of millions of dollars. So how do hackers gain control of your Internet of Things? Hackers often use botnets. Botnets are internet-connected devices that each consist of one or more bots. These botnets are able to perform distributed denial-of-service attacks and penetrate your home network. Yes. Service Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you speak what up? What are distributed denial? A distributed denial of service attack is when multiple systems, like botnets, flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system with traffic. Attacks are often centered around large companies. Some Internet of Things attacks you may know include the Mirai attack in 2016 and the hackable pacemakers from St. Jude. Mirai is malware that turned Internet of Things consumer devices such as IP cameras and home routers into bots that were used as part of a botnet in a large-scale network attack. In 2016, Mirai infected devices that attacked DNS server provider DIN, which affected access to sites including CNN, Twitter, and Netflix. A year later, the FDA confirmed that St. Jude's medical implantable pacemakers have vulnerabilities that allowed hackers to do things like drain their batteries and change their pacing. <laughs> it's not fair. I want to defend my internet of things. If I ever find who took my money, my kids, and all my five monkeys, they're gonna get it. I just want my money back. <laughs> I also want to change my mom's name. I'm 
I'm gonna get those hackers. I'm gonna teach them a thing or two or three. So how do you defend your Internet of Things against hackers? What can you do? Fortunately, there's lots of things you can do on your home network to prevent Internet of Things attacks from happening to you and your uh, company if you happen to own one. So here we are at the University of Maryland, home of some of the best computer scientists in the country. They should know a thing or two about cybersecurity, hacking, the matrix. We're going to ask a bunch of random students what they should do if they know what they should do when their Internet of Things devices are hacked. Oh, hey, excuse me. Uh, do you want this to happen to you? I don't know what that is. Take care. Hey, uh, excuse me. Uh, do you mind answering some questions about cybersecurity? Yeah, for sure. So what would you do if your Internet of Things devices were compromised by a distributed denial of surface attack by several botnets? What did you say? It turns out we made a mistake and we learned that everyone at the University of Maryland is a bunch of morons. We decided to turn to cybersecurity expert Dr. Robin Banks, professor at Harvard University. So you're an expert on cybersecurity. That's right. Could you tell us some security measures that could be taken to defend against Internet of Things attacks? Mm-hmm, that's right. Wait, could you repeat that? Could you tell us some security measures that could... Oh, oh, I, I got you. I thought you were uh, asking me something else. Oh, yeah, no, no, I was just asking if you had any... Tips. Tips, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please just answer my question. So one easy technical solution you could do is change all your Internet of Things devices passwords. So you could change your router password. Yeah, I'm about to hack Microsoft real quick. Were y'all able to crack their security login? No. No, sir. I did. Give it to me. What is it? Username? Admin. Uh-huh. What's the password? Password is password. It's just password? Yep. <laughs> Hacked! A more policy-based solution would be to adopt something like network segmentation. Network segmentation is essentially dividing your network into subnetworks. This not only improves your network security, but also its performance. This limits the spread of attacks and also reduces the vulnerability to attacks. Interesting. Tell us more. No. Please? Fine. One more solution would be to implement company-wide mandatory training against Internet of Things attacks. Companies need to learn that these attacks exist, these attacks cost millions of dollars, and these attacks can be prevented. It's better to take precautions than to actively try to stop every single hacker. Amen. We've learned a lot today, haven't we? The Internet of Things lets our devices communicate and interact with each other, but we need to take steps to stop hackers from accessing it and compromising this network. The Internet of Things are at risk of distributed denial of service attacks by botnets. This means that several internet connected devices, each of which is running one or more bots, flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system with traffic. Hackers can access personal information and valuables and cost companies their revenue. Tens of millions. We could take these three steps to stop this from happening. So one easy technical solution you could do is change all your Internet of Things devices' passwords, dividing your network into subnetworks. One more solution would be to implement company-wide mandatory training against Internet of Things attacks. What are distributed denial and taxes services? Let me do that again. <laughs> what are just dis dis disrupted denial? Dis distribute dis distributed. What are distribute distribute? <laughs> We've learned a lot today, haven't we? The Internet of Things lets our devices communicate and interact with each other, but we need to stop from. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Tens of millions of dollars. I keep like starting to smile. <laughs> okay. So here we are at the University of Maryland, uh, home of some of the best computer scientists in the country. We're gonna ask. Ah, uh, oh, me. Let's keep going. <laughs> We've learned a lot today, haven't we? The Internet of Things lets our devices communicate and. It, it, it,